Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the world of civil rights and shine a light on the pressing issues of rights and responsibilities in today's society. Today, we're taking you to the Nueces County Jail in Corpus Christi, Texas, for a First Amendment audit that's bound to stir some thoughts and perhaps even some controversy. In this episode, we explore what happens when the right to record in public spaces meets law enforcement. What are the legal boundaries? Where do our responsibilities begin? Stay with us as we uncover the delicate balance of civil rights and action. Oh, she's on her toe, you know. Uh, oh, here they come. Uh, big old fat. I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. I guess you don't understand what I don't answer questions mean. Could I ask you why you're taking videos of officers leaving and coming? I don't answer questions. Can I see your ID? I don't answer questions. You will if I have to ask you for your ID? No, I don't. I don't answer questions. Okay. Can you like step back? It's no. like you're in my personal space. You're in our personal space. No, you come up to me, asshole. So get back. Could you do me a favor and leave? You can kiss my ass. <laughs> Can you like get away from me, please? Because I have the business of being on private or on public sidewalk. Okay. So you can get away from me, first no, of all. Well, actually, I can be. The, I have the right as well to be on. A yeah, but not in my personal space. Not in your personal space. Yeah, I have to back up because you're in my personal space. Okay, could you please? Now you're like a foot away from me. Yes, sir, I am. See, look at that, people. A foot. This fat ass is like won't get away from me. Yeah, I hope you are recording this shit because you are an asshole. So get away from me. Could you please back up, sir? I don't answer questions. What don't you understand from that? How about you go get your supervisor, first of all? I am the supervisor. Well, obviously, you don't know my rights. Yes, I do, sir. No, you, you don't. Right of freedom of speech and you have the right to freedom speech. I have the right to film anything I see in public. Yes, sir, but you have to understand it as a I don't care speech. what you have to say. <laughs> what don't you get from that? I don't care what you have to say. Please take a, take a Um, no. Please don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. For your safety and mine, I didn't ask you if you have any weapons on you. I have not done anything wrong. wrong. I don't have to answer any questions that you are asking me of. I do not have to answer no questions. So do not touch me. I have the right to be on this public sidewalk filming public areas of interest. Tell them guys to leave me alone because I'm on the sidewalk. I don't know. He's filming everybody leaving and coming. In the Is there park. anything wrong with that officer? Go, get away from me. Don't touch me. I don't have to, sir. This is a public sidewalk. Yeah, and you don't have the right to touch me neither. Actually, yes, I do. No, you don't. Unless I committed a crime. Uh, you have to understand you're taking I'm not committing a crime. Go away. I'm not committing a crime. Go away. I do this all the time. I'm not committing a crime. Following her to her vehicle is, is I'm not following her nowhere. I stayed on public sidewalk. Yeah. Calling her names? I didn't call her no names. I didn't even talk to the dumbass. Not <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it I didn't even talk to her. Okay. So get away from me. Get away from me. Don't talk near don't go near me. I don't know why you all trying to get up on me. He's not, he was touching me. He touched me. And I do have a right to go in there. It is a public lobby, too. So I can go in there and film if I want to. And he touched me. He assaulted me. He touched me. He assaulted me. These guys need to learn. Public photography is not a crime. Public photography is not a crime. Whatever the eyes can see in public, you can film. I know. Film somebody, but just when you start harassing people, I'm not touching nobody. I'm not talking to nobody. He came up to me and touched me. He saw it at me. I like to press charges, please. And then there was a complaint. Yeah, because she called because I was filming her, yes, which is legal. Her legal. Legal. Yes, legal. Would you, 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 
I don't have to because 3802 explicitly says I don't have to commit or have to show ID unless I commit a crime or about to commit a crime. So you don't want to provide any information? No, because I haven't, I haven't committed a crime. Well, what's your purpose out here? I'm filming in public. Other than jail? No. I can go in there if I wanted to into the public lobby and film too. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Homeland Security says I can. Would you like to see that memo? Thank you very much. <laughs> It's a, open to the public. Stand out here, you can film. But I can go in there too. But don't harass me. Re let police. them, I know, I can go in there too. There's no video footage allowed inside the church. It says public lobby, which I'm the public. It doesn't matter. Y'all need to brush up on your law. I'm telling you now. Brush up on your law. I don't care what your sheriff says. He's a dumb shit. I know that for a fact. When he gets, when his election comes up, I'm voting. I'm going to put all kinds of stuff out. I'm not harassing nobody. They harassing me. He touched me. Don't tell me what to do. Don't, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell. I can do whatever I want. And I can film all them cars if I want. Just like I can film all these cars. The eyes can't trespass. <laughs> I'm not. He came up to me and touched me. He, no, can I file assault charges, please? I'm telling you, I'm filing assault charges on him. I, I am filing assault charges on you. Can I file assault charges, please? He touched me. I have it on film that he touched me. I have film. I have film that he touched me. I can do this. I can do even better. I can download it and email it to you. No, you don't have to do that because it actually, actually, it's on Facebook Live. So, can It's not even on the phone. It's technically, it's on Facebook Live. You have every right to film. Don't harass anybody. Don't follow that to the Oh, I can. I can film wherever I want. Long as no, I'm saying, long as it's on private property or public property, yes. What's that again? How's it a complaint when you're in public filming? Well, they can complain all they want. Still, still can't trump my rights. Leave what private, um, private prop or public property? Can't trespass on public property. <laughs> my lawyer's been through this with oh, I don't know how many people, <laughs> places. <laughs> You cannot, you cannot trump my rights on pu on public property. You can't trust, you can't, basically you can't trespass on, on public property. See how these guys don't know the law? It cracks me up, guys. They do not know the law. And they're supposed to be DPS, knowing the law. That fucking cracks me up, man. Fat piece of the right to record officers in public settings is protected under the First Amendment, which guarantees freedom of speech and expression. Courts have repeatedly affirmed that public photography serves a critical role in democracy, allowing citizens to scrutinize government operations. The pivotal case Glick v. Cunniff underscores this, where the court held that a private citizen has the right to record government officials in the public discharge of their duties. In the video, the auditor references the Department of Homeland Security DHS memo that purportedly authorizes public photography of lobbies, foyers, and entryways. This document, while not a legal statute, interprets existing rights under the First Amendment in the context of federal properties, aiming to guide the conduct of security personnel. The interaction escalates when officers approach the auditor, requesting identification and questioning his activities. Here, the legal principle of stop and identify statutes comes into play. Texas law specifically allows officers to detain individuals to ascertain their identity if they have reasonable suspicion of criminal activity. However, filming in a public place, without more, has not been deemed sufficient to constitute reasonable suspicion. The auditor's refusal to provide identification, therefore, aligns with legal precedents that protect individuals from compulsory identification absent reasonable suspicion of a crime. His insistence on maintaining personal space also touches on Fourth Amendment protections against unreasonable searches and seizures. The auditor's vocalization of his rights and the officer's response highlight a critical training gap in law enforcement's understanding of these constitutional protections. Thank you for watching our exploration at the Nueces County Jail. Today's audit highlights critical questions about public recording, law enforcement responses, and the interpretation of our rights. What do you think about the interaction between the auditor and the officers? Was the law upheld or were lines crossed? We'd love to hear your thoughts and interpretations in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay engaged with more content like this. Your insights enrich our community and help foster a more informed society. Keep Keep questioning, keep watching, and until next time, stay aware and stay informed.